What's up guys, my name is Chase. I'm a full-time Amazon, eBay, and whatnot reseller. Uh, today, we are gonna sell some stuff. I'm gonna start by pulling some eBay orders in this new reselling barn, in the game barn, that's what we're calling it. Um, so I'm gonna pull seven eBay orders and then we're gonna get to business selling some games on Amazon and other platforms. So let's get to it. So up at C5, sold some Funko Pops. So we had a ton of these. We probably sold like 10, 12 of them so far, right around 30 bucks a piece. Uh, I, I got eight bucks a piece into them. So starting to take offers now that Christmas has passed. $23 is what I got for that one. I believe that's shipped. So it should still more than double up. And then the lot of four uh, Ghostbusters. The, whoop. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> well, hopefully that one's still in good condition. But those sold for $45. And I think I have $20 into the set. So that's the last of three sets that I bought. And I bought these from a viewer who's local. Uh, had a good time buying sports cards, and uh, he kind of he kind of got the upsell on me. Sold the Funko Pops, and it, it's it's worked out pretty well. I haven't sold any of the Superman, so that one has been rough because I got eight dollars into that one. Um, but we're probably probably broken even already just by what we've sold, and then the rest of those will be profit if they sell. Um, so I'm gonna get these ones shipped out and then we'll pull the other five. We got Super WrestleMania sold for $15. I don't think that has the manual. And then A6 over here, we sold the Johnny Lightning car for 15 as well. So there we have it, $15 for the Johnny Lightning. Probably had basically nothing into that one. And then we have three more orders to grab. B4, pretty good sale here, $210 the power base converter in the box. This thing is in really great condition and we have had it for a long time. So very happy to see that one sold. And then B4 or I'm B2, number two. Yep, there we go. The Boss Cuda Socks and Martin model sold for 70 bucks. That's a Hobby Shop Ron item. The last sale was indeed C3, and this one shocked me. This is a crazy sale, 127 bucks. I assume it's in the bin right here. Hot Wheels. So this is Hot Wheels, the heavyweights, 1970 red line. So definitely look out for red line Hot Wheels, or really just the red line on the, on the tires. If they're vintage, late 60s, uh, early 70s, they can be good. This one must be very rare because it has a lot of wear and still sold for $127. Another Hobby Shop Ron item, just one of the random Hot Wheels that was inside of one of the thousands of boxes we've gotten from him. So really, really stoked to get that sold. That's all seven orders pulled. The total was about 560 bucks. So things have slowed down over the weekend. One of the things I think we're gonna implement here pretty soon again is daily listing on eBay and getting all of our eBay stuff in order. So we will be launching season four of our eBay challenge. We will be participating heavily in that personally, and that is with our Discord. So we've had a lot of great success of people doing that. Uh, we have the things that work for eBay. Guaranteed, if you do them, if you stretch yourself and you do everything on these daily tasks, your store will grow. So love to have you if you're willing to put in the work and you wanna do one of those eBay challenges with us. Uh, link will be in the description to join the Discord, and I am personally excited to get our eBay going again. Sky Guy, we've been doing a Discord, uh, what do you want to call it, a challenge? Yeah, like a challenge, a game. Yeah, so not the eBay challenge, but uh, we did a Q4 online uh, reselling, like profitable leads, bless you, challenge. I, and, I just caught Chase. <laughs> and uh, we basically said, top three people that do the best posts, we're gonna give prizes to, mm -hmm. $250 to first place, well, 100, 100 to, second. to second, 50 to third. So we have our winners absolutely mm. walking away with it is a longtime member. He goes by, this is my best offer, Kel, based off the yes. the funny eBay guy that <laughs> he's not actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Kel, thank you to Kel, posted dozens of profitable leads. Over 100. Over 100? And they were oh all gosh. great percent um, margin, which, yeah. Yeah, so if anybody in the Discord got those deals, mm -hmm. send him a little thank you. Yeah. And then second place was? Kelvin. Kelvin, so shout out to Kelvin. And uh, then third was Nerd Nation. 
All right, and then you gotta click on this Discord tab and read the top message from Kel, uh, starting right here. Anyway, the reason I'm reaching out to you is in regards to the Q4 challenge you guys are currently running. And speaking with Skylar, it looks like I'm the clear favorite to win at this point. <laughs> he was projecting. Uh, I believe the, fir uh, the final place prize is $250, but I don't want it. If I end up winning any place, first, second, or third, can you please take my winnings and give half to Sky Guy and the other to <laughs> And the other half to Alpal is a Christmas bonus? What? <laughs> what a stud, right? Long? This was sent a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't plan to stop posting leads either, so I should win. I also hope the leads have been helpful since I only post leads that are profitable and will sell based on analytics I use. The Discord in your YouTube channel has been such an inspiration to me. I've been reselling part-time for two years now, and what I've learned from your channel and the Discord during that time, I couldn't be more thankful and blessed. I would love to give back to you guys like you have given to me. So I would love to do this for Skylar and Alex. Thanks again for everything, and here's to continued happiness and success in business and life. Yes. Holy cow! <laughs> Isn't that what? awesome? So, so that that wow. that touched my heart because that that's the community that that's the type of people that we have in the Discord. Wow. He's just one one of many, but he is special, and that's special. So thank you. Cal. The discs are done. So clean, roughly fifty on a light clean. I even had two GameCube games on this one i'm curious to see how those turned out a little bit scared they have the gamecube adapters with them and then you almost every time on our on our machine it says to uh change the pad because after every 50 discs it wants you to change the pad by default we've discovered that it's really more like 150 discs that the pads can clean so we've got this makeshift thing where if you hit if you hit a check or if you clear it out, you check mark, and then basically each one gets two check marks, and then on the third check mark, you don't write it down, you actually change the pad on that one, because that would be roughly 150. So that's when we're changing them. So if you have like an Echo Auto Smart or something with the same pads, that would also apply to that one in our experience. But that's up to you how to do it. Cool thing is we've got 40 or 50 discs that are now clean. All these cases are what these discs are four and uh hopefully the gamecube ones turned out okay i'm gonna look at those and, and update you guys but uh yeah just did a light clean on all these and then we have in our drawer here the ones that we do a medium clean on so the ones that are pretty rough and then the deep ones are just like insanely terrible let me find one here look at this thing Whew. if that cleans up <laughs> we've had one worse cleanup okay so i'm gonna run this on a deep clean and show you guys the after this is uh need for speed most wanted for 360 and we'll see it looks like this before 10 seconds later <laughs> oh my gosh it looks completely perfect that's unreal i see zero issues with this disc fascinating and then the gamecube game uh, this is one of the two the other one needed like a uh, deeper clean but donkey kong jungle beat also looks fantastic so said the little it was on the adapter and went in with the other disc and it worked just fine so i'll probably be doing that in the future too so for the first time in maybe three weeks to a month i'm actually getting to some ebay listings about time <laughs> It is about time. We need to start making some money on eBay. Uh, for the last like three weeks to a month, stuff has been trickling in here and there, uh, but not much. So I'm happy to get back to it. Um, some of the big ticket items, well, pretty much everything I'm listing right now is big ticket items, getting some income going. Um, some cool things are this Panasonic 3DO console inbox. Uh, I did that for 500. Um, there's a Commodore 64 here. I think I put that up for 200. Um, not exactly sure on that one because there's no controller or cords. Um, this box of like cabinet cards, I mean, these things are from like the 1800s, early 1900s. Chase had me put that one up for a thousand. We'll see what happens with that. And then these little marionette things. I have a whole box of them that are all different. I don't know if they're from a set or what, but I thought originally that these were like 100 to 150 a piece which was huge in general, because I was expecting like, you know, 40 bucks a piece. But then I just found a listing on WorthPoint that once one of these sold in 2018 for $500 um, without 
the box. And this original box is in great condition too for being 70 years old. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna list these all for, but it's probably gonna be around 500 a piece and we'll just sit on them and see what happens. Okay, Matt, we talked about what Alpal is doing. Am I right? Am I right? We did, we did. You showed that $500 thing? I did, I did. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now, so Matt has been working on some retro brighting and putting stuff back together. Can you tell yes. the people about retro bright and how you do it to make that nasty yellow thing look like that? It started out gross. Yeah, it was it was cheese. <laughs> it was cheese, <laughs> moldy, nasty cheese. <laughs> so uh, what we do is we take it all apart, take all the hardware out of it, and um, strip it so it's just the plastic casing. And then what we do is we spray it down with Retro Bright, which is over here. This bottle right here, we get this from... I think just straight off of uh, eBay or their website. Yeah. Retrobright.com, okay. whatever it is. So we use that, spray it down, and then we throw it in bags. Make sure to wear gloves because it does burn your skin. So yes. don't do Hydrogen that. Hydrogen peroxide <laughs> is the, is the yeah. main thing in there. So we spray it, cover it, and then we put it in a UV box. Currently right now we have some stuff going. Just a box we covered with uh, this tape right here aluminum foil tape so that it's real reflective the light goes everywhere and we used uv leds to uh we should make a this is an idea matt we should make a retro bright uh like starter kit Ooh. um and sky guy i'm telling you that as well i'll include it in the description it'll be in the description we're gonna make it we're gonna get if, everything if you need if it's not seriously just comment spam yep where's the list Where's the retro bright and, list? And then I'll add it. <laughs> yeah, so we're starting to do that. We're putting in like a Amazon selling starter kit, eBay selling starter kit, just to make it a little bit easier to find the right supplies for what you need. Cause we have all of them listed. We just don't have them super easy to understand and buy. So we'll make a starter kit so you can get everything you need. Um, the one thing we won't link is like a solid bin with a lid. So hopefully you can find one of those on your own, but we'll link where we get everything else just to make it easy for you guys. And then Matt, you also have a system to test? Yeah, it's a Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. So Matt right now is the console sales manager. So everything with consoles, I love it. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. <laughs> um, including, you know, cleaning, retro brighting, uh, and testing. And then also he's been selling them on Amazon FBA, getting them fully nice. packaged up and listed. So this came from a recent collection buy. It's the last system we have to test. It looks great. I, I imagine it will almost certainly work. Yeah. What about the console concierge? The console concierge? Yeah, I like the counselor of consoles myself. <laughs> the counselor of consoles, that's good. I like it. Hey, you, you can write it down however you want to write it down. I'm good with whatever. Oh, can you give us official contacts? Yes, <laughs> please do. You, you need to have those uh, the things on your desk. I, I used to have one. Yeah, order them. Okay. They're okay. pretty easy to order. Uh, controller tester from Consoles for You. Not sponsored. We don't have an affiliate or anything, but this is good. And I assume you'll test the Sega Genesis controllers yep. with this. Uh, and then basically just make sure that this reads games, that the controller port works, and that'll be good to go. Yeah. So that's that, yeah? Yeah. Bar will do. Alpal is done listing these glorious marionettes. And I'm curious, Al, how what the average price per, and how, how many there are first off? Uh, so there's five in box, and then there was one that wasn't part of a box that was inside of a box, so technically six total. Okay. Um, hobby shop stuff. So yes. the average listed price for these is 300. Average per? Per. Glory. Um, now, that's on the higher end. I mean, we're not... we're. Probably gonna take offers on all of them. Yeah, cut that Most by twenty percent. Yep. Consider it roughly two forty average per, but times six, that's almost fifteen hundred bucks. Yes. yes. And one thing, a good um, tip for eBay, on at least on mobile now, you can do up to twenty four pictures. Ah yes. So for like vintage stuff that has some wear mm -hmm. for games and stuff, that's really beneficial. So on your mobile, you can have twenty four pictures now. That's awesome. So that's I love that helpful. that's in place. Shout out to eBay. Yes. Um, yes. So the, this type of item is perfect. This one is perfect to have just a ton of pictures of. Probably this lot. Yeah. So you can see a lot of the different pictures. Nice tip there, Al Pal. 
Uh, otherwise, um, we got this box sent off. So this one had four Nintendos, or three Nintendos with Mario 1, 2, and 3 for Amazon, and then about 50 games that I went through. Um, Sky Guy has been getting things together for the Caterpie Crew channel. We talked about some goals today. Uh, there might be more info on goals coming up. Yes. Uh, otherwise, I got to get to listing these. Um, and we're just going to kind of rinse and repeat the same exact thing that we did in the first part of the day. So we're going to cut this video here. Thank you guys for watching it. Subscribe for more of the Game Barn vlogs. We'll see you guys next time. Bartle do. Peace. Bye.